Um, hello, everybody. Today, um, we're going to start a project on Gothic architecture. We're all going to be architects. Now, an architect is just another kind of artist, but instead of drawing or painting or sculpting, you are designing buildings. And Gothic architecture is a kind of architecture that was done in like the 1100s through like the 1500s. So it's older architecture. And um, they made these giant cathedrals. Gothic cathedrals are all about height and light. They have these giant towers. Part of the style is, are these pointed arches that unlike normal arches come to a point. These cathedrals are all over Europe. Architects will still use this style in churches and other buildings today. Now you're gonna design your own cathedral in this project. What you're also gonna do is design your own rose window. Now rose windows were um, giant um, stained glass circles. They were kind of, um, you know, they were symmetrical. We talked about symmetry when we did our positive negative shape project that was symmetrical in shape, but not color. But we're gonna get into it a little bit more in this one. And they would let the light in um, to the rest of the cathedral because, you know, it's, it's it way in the past, there's no electricity. You know, so you've got a giant building, how do you light it up? You know, so they make these giant windows. Um, Rose windows were very common in Gothic cathedrals. They made these giant, symmetrical windows, light would pour through them and it would light up the cathedrals because this was before we used electric light and we needed a way to light up these giant halls so people could see. Really, really beautiful. Really beautiful buildings. Um, I hope you like this project because I like making mine and um, I can't wait to see what you come up with. And um, I will see everybody later. This is the church, Our Lady of Divine Providence in River West, about three blocks from my house. It's definitely inspired by Gothic architecture. Here we can see where the um, rose window would be um, if they had the stained glass still there. There's the pointed arches. So yeah, Gothic architecture, the ideas from Gothic architecture are still used today. A really beautiful church. I hear the bells go off every day. Um, it tells me what time it is about three blocks from my house. So these ideas are still used. I can't wait to see how you use these ideas.